Hey guys, it's Julie from PaleomG.com. You can find so much fun stuff over there. Have you been over to PaleomG.com? Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. I am going to be sharing with you the easiest top knot tutorial because you know what? If you're anything like me, you maybe didn't wash your hair for three days because hello, if you're working out today and you're working out tomorrow, that's less than 24 hours. Why would you want to wash your hair? Nobody wants to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do this little easy top knot for some greasy hair and show you the product that I love the most for some dry shampoo. So let's get this going. So this hair hasn't been washed in a while. I've worked out in it. I've curled it, done weird things to it. It's been a few days. So what you're going to need a ponytail, a handful of bobby pins, some dry shampoo, a teasing brush and hairspray. I love this Bumble and Bumble dry shampoo. It smells really good and it doesn't give your hair that like crunchy, I don't know, gross feeling. So it's wonderful and it's supposed to give you volume. You can use it for um, if you need to tease your hair really big. So keep that in mind. This Bumble and Bumble is awesome. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to get put my hair up on the top of my head in a ponytail. Get it pretty high up. Okay. Up on the top of my head it goes. And I like to pull my hair out a little bit just so it's not um, pulled super tight to my head. Kim Kardashian and all the Kardashians can pull that ish off, but I just can't, okay? I just can't. Okay, next we are using this teasing brush. Now you're just gonna tease your hair in little chunks. Nothing crazy, I just take a chunk and then I tease it back. So I just kinda pull it back towards the root of my hair. Oh, hi, dog. And I'm just gonna do this in little chunks. Oh, yeah. So at this point, you can just leave it if you want. I mean, Come on, it looks really good. Okay, so now you have volume. So even if you have thin or fine hair, this is gonna give you some volume and it's gonna poof out that bun a little bit more. So what I like to do is find the middle of my bun, kind of pull that hair over, and then you're gonna start wrapping it around and wrap that hair. And you can just kind of lightly do it at this point because you'll pin it down in a few. And just wrap that around. And then we can start pinning in certain spots. So if I take this spot, take a bobby pin, and just pin it. And then I'll keep wrapping it around because you'll want to pull some of that hair to the front to make sure it's not uneven. Who wants an uneven bun? Wrap the next part. And I'll take another bobby pin and pin. Take that next spot. And I have about four to six bobby pins ready to go. And so then, see I'm almost there, but then I'll just kind of have some flyaways that everything's pretty secure, but then I just have some little hairs that need to be pinned down. And so I use that, those extra bobby pins to lock everything in. So after I get everything in place, all the pins in place, then I can kind of start pulling hairs out a little bit because I'm gonna spray it down, so even if I have a little bit of flyaways, this will lock it in. So after I get a little pulled out, a little pin action in, then I can just spray it down. So the spray, I think, is so important because your ha hair kind of starts to slip in the bobby pin, so this kind of locks it in. And then you can swoop everything up. So if you have any flyaway hairs, whoop, we're good to go. Whoop. Done. Was that the easiest thing you've ever done? The answer is yes. Yes, it was. Okay, bye! Uh, oh, oh, that's a guy. Get your head up there. Show what you got. Show him what you got. This guy. Look how cute he is. Hey guys, it's Paleo. Nope, that's not me. Oh, oh. I don't, I don't, how do I shut this off? <laughs>